this video, we're going to perform the filter function in Microsoft Excel when we have criteria that is equal to anything that is not in a list of values. So you can see here, I have a data set of month to date sales by different sales reps and the division that each of these reps works in. And what we want to do over here is create filter results where the division is anything that is not in this list. So we're going to insert the filter function. The first input is the array we want to filter on. It's going to be this entire range here. Now here on the second input, which is our criteria, things are going to be a little different from the traditional setup because we're dealing with a not equal to list. So what I'm going to do is just input everything and after the fact, I'll go back and explain how that works. So just bear with me. So we have the is number function and then inside the is number, we have the match. So our lookup value is actually going to be this entire criteria column. Our lookup array is going to be are not equal to list here and then our match type we want an exact match so I'm gonna input zero for an exact match and since we want anything that is not equal to the values in this list we need to set this equal to false so you can see this returns everything that is not in this list of divisions. So now we get to how this works. So I'll begin with the match function. So what the match function does is it takes a lookup value or in this case multiple lookup values and checks to see if it is found in an array. If it is it returns the number position of where it's found. So in this case it's going to return four possible things either in a if it's not found or one two or three for each of the rows in that array so if i highlight all of this and hit f9 you can see it does just that it returns in a anytime there's not a match so east east is in a because it's not in this list north is the first row in that list central is the third row in that list so it produces either one two three or in a so when you hit f9 like this one thing i'll just mention is you don't want to hit enter because it'll stay fixed like that so what you want to do is hit escape and then hit f2 to go back into it so now we get to the is number so it's a very simple function it, either, it returns true if a value is a number false if it's not a number so if I highlight all of that and hit F9 again you can see anytime there was not a match which produced in a we get falses anytime there was a number one two or three it produced true and if we didn't have this equals false if we just had this highlighted portion by itself, it would return everything in this list because the filter by default returns true values. So that's why we set this equal to false because we wanted to get everything that is not in this list. So I'll hit escape again. And just to kind of show you if we wanted the opposite where we did want everything in this list, all we really need to do is take out the equals false and it's going to return everything that's actually in that list but we wanted everything not in that list so i just hit undo well that is all for now thanks for watching